Hello everyone. In this video, we will be discussing about the division method in Vedic Maths. In division also, we have two types of techniques. The first is the general technique and the other is a specific technique. The base method that we are going to discuss here is a specific technique. Children from class 8 onwards can understand and practice this method. The Vedic name for base method is Nikhilam method. And as the name suggests, the base method deals with the divisions that have a divisor that is closer to the base. And by base, we mean the numbers that are into the form of 10 to the power n, where n is equal to 1, 2, 3 and so on. Now let's understand this method with the help of an example. Now first example we have, we need to divide 34 by 9. Here base is 10 and the first method is, the first step is that we need to divide the digits of the divide, dividend by the number of zeros in the divisor. So here the number of zeros 10 has is 1. Hence, we have divided the digits of the dividend by 1, 1 digits. Now, then we need to write the complement of the divisor below it, like we have done here. So, complement of 9 is 1. Now, copy down the first digit of the dividend as it is, that is 3 is copied down. Now, the uh, next step involves that you multiply this 3 with the complement of your divisor and add it to the next digit. Understand this with, an ex with this example. So the first digit of dividend is 3 and I have multiplied 3 with 1 that is the complement of 9. Now 1 multiplied with 3 gives me 3 and I have added this to the next digit that is 7. Now here I get my remainder as 7 and questioned as 3. Now let's come to the next example. Here we have base 10 itself but the question is to divide 456 by 9. Now the first step is we need to divide the digits by equal number of zeros the base has. So since there is one zero, I have divided the digits with one one partition. Now starting from the left, I have copied down the first digit of my dividend as it is and I have written the complement of nine below. Here that is one. Now multiplying four with one gives me four and I have added this 4 with 5. So 4 plus 5 is equals to 9. Now this 9 is again multiplied with 1. That is 9 into 1 is 1 and added to 6. Which gives me 15 here. But the problem here is 15 is greater than the divisor. That is 9 and hence cannot be the remainder. So, what we do, we subtract 9 from it, which gives us 6 as our remainder and added 1 to the remaining digits, which gives us 50 as questioned. The next example here is, we, need, we, are, multi, we are dividing 6123 with 8. So, the first Step is dividing the digits with equal number of zeros. Hence, we have I have divided here like this and writing the complement of the divisor as it is, which is 2. So, repeating the steps, copying down the 6 as it is, 6 multiplied by 2 is 12, added with 1 gives me 13, which is here. Then again, 13 multiplied with 2 is 26, 26 added with 2 is 28. Now 28 multiplied by 2 
is 56 added with 3 gives us 59. Now here also 59 is greater than 8 and hence cannot be the remainder. Hence we divide it by 8 that is 8 by 8 multiplied by 7 is 56. So I have subtracted 56 from 59 which gives me 3 as a remainder and since it is 7 hence I am adding 7 with the remaining digits that will form my question. So 28 plus 7 is 35, 13 plus 3 is 6, 6, 13 plus 3 is 16 and 6 plus 1 is 7. Hence, my question is 6, 6, 7, 65 and gives me 3 as a remainder. Now, let's see a last example where I have 100 as a base. Now, here the thing that is different, I have two zeros in my base. Now I will divide the digits of the dividend into two digits, two parts like four and five will be one part and three is another part. Now copying down the dividend digit, leftmost dividend digit as it is and writing the complement of 95 which is actually all from nine last from 10 that gives me five as its complement. I have 3 multiplied by 5 which is 15 added with 45 that is 60. Hence 60 is my remainder and 3 is my question. Now one thing you should remember is that we do the partition on the basis of number of zeros in the base. And we can apply this method to other, digit, other div divisors also for like 1000, 10,000 and so on. I hope you understand the method. Thank you.